welcome back to Studio Lou. I have a little traveler's notebook flip through for you today. This book is called Good Nature and it is my collage masterboard style traveler's notebook. So you'll see a lot of botanicals and some fun leafy stitching and I'm calling this Good Nature because that's a little part of the collage up here. It's been double bound with some vintage ribbon on the spine to give it more strength and it is a three hole binding. On back we have this um, pocket that I made. It's a patchwork stitched pocket out of fabric. The ties are stitched in and they are um, vintage uh, flannel weaving um, fabric and it's quite long so that you can wrap it around several times and it is stitched right into the cover. Um, when we look at the back there's actually more collage underneath here this cute little image uh, more botanicals and the whole thing has been sealed um, then this is a really nice hard like heavy cardstock tag and it has these beautiful birds on it from a vintage children's book called wedding birds and it just had beautiful paintings and this is some really lovely sort of iridescent um, mohair boucle in blues and pink um, that is the top in the top of the tag. So now we can just hop right in and take a look at this journal. So when you open it up, you'll see there is like a bureau style folder side pocket here. And I've used this beautiful butterfly fabric as the backing. It's got gold in it. It's really pretty. And this is a large journal card that I made from a vintage book. And this rose fabric is actually a fun um, sweatshirt fabric. And I just stitched this lovely owl from a vintage book down on top of it. So it's a large journaling card. And the journal gets started with a pocket made from this vintage photograph of this beautiful couple from the 1950s and it is on this lovely botanical paper that's been tea dyed and inside is this tag um it is a tuck style tag so the back is collaged it's a collage tag you'll see some botanicals and butterflies and then this tab says armchair travel and it sort of holds a piece of ephemera and it's from a book about sort of simple little things that make your life better and i think armchair travel is one of those things <laughs> especially nowadays and then this is an original piece of vintage ephemera it's a funny card um, it is a CB radio um, calling card basically so if you're not familiar with CB radio people used to use it to communicate a lot of um, truck drivers still do and you basically had your own handle or your own name and you had like calling cards and that's how you kind of communicated with your community of people that you that you met on the road um, so this one is from Lloyd Bruce of st. Catharines Ontario and um, it, 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 he went by Mr. Reliable and um, there is some handwriting on the back um, it was his mailing address and his signature so just an interesting fun piece of ephemera um, on this side we have cabbage dyed paper with a little butterfly and some letters just a little kind of cluster collage and this is a page um, from release the Crafton's uh, winter dreams kit so it's this beautiful blues kind of watercolory and then I've stitched on um, a tab here with this beautiful gold sequin fabric and it's organza and then a little fabric collage with a brass button, some fun vintage buttons, and floor. Um, this is flower sack fabric and or, uh, crochet um, flowers and doily and all sorts of stuff. And then this is um, from a vintage 70s yearbook. I absolutely love using those kind of things in my journal. Um, and we have a Frida Kahlo playing card tuck spot. And inside is a vintage postcard from the Hall of Mining, Engineering, and Metallurgy, Lafayette College, Easton, Pennsylvania. This is Markle Hall. It's blank on back and it's got that fun kind of woven texture to it. And then we have a fairy and some mushrooms here. This is a pocket page made from Richard Scary book page. And inside we have this, these are actually these tabs and I found them in a collection of 45 records and there's these little vintage candy stickers on them. So just kind of a fun large journal card. And then this is a vintage brass paper clip on an old plant magazine photo. And we have, this is actually a book plate from an old Brothers Grimm story. And I just thought it was really nice. This beautiful image. 
and that just clips on right there. It's blank on back so you can write on it. And then we have a botanical collage pocket here and it's a double pocket. So this is a pocket like this itself. And then behind here, you see some more blue paper. Um, this is um, a tuck spot and it has this celestial um, journal card inside. So that goes in here and then this goes in here. Then, this is the tab from an envelope and it just says Sweet Springs and it has this little little animal and a little button. And then we have um, some more botanical paper. And then on this side, this is a flip out of, um, a, from a bird field guide, an image, more botanicals. And then this is an upper tuck pocket, the letter R. It's um, an index card with some lace and a little safety pin with beads. And then a G Gerard Manley Hopkins poem. That's cabbage dyed paper. And then these adorable seagulls on this um, pull down tag. and some stenciling on cabbage dyed paper, botanical paper with a fabric ruffle, and a little bit of um, chain here on a bulb pin. Tea dyed paper, this is um, late 1800s vintage music paper and I have done some um, jelly printing on the back. And then this is a vintage um, brass paper clip. So this is um, a digital page from Paper Cameo on Etsy. Um, and these are two original um, ephemera pieces. So this is a vintage plant card for the screw pine plant. And I left it as is. You could put paper on the back to journal if you like. And then this really neat photo of these two gentlemen that they look like they're standing in the doorway of a barn or something um, but these are all 1950s images this one is a tin type you can see hopefully you can see it in the camera cabbage dyed paper more jelly printing and this is a flip out of these beautiful um, moth it's from a vintage um, insect book and then this fun paper, it's got like dandelions on it. It was a uh, part of um, a packaging paper. And then on this side, we have this cute little, this is Dipsy Donkey from a 1950s book. And this tips out and it's another image of them. And then this is a double pocket underneath. It is a tin type, little small, hopefully you can see it shining. You can see that it's a real tin type. This little baby sitting on the ground and there's a little, floral tab in there for writing on and another large tag this is from a children's book and it has this nice folk art type fabric on top and then we have this beautiful old ledger with a b that's a digital image and then we have a lace tag or sorry a lace tuck spot on coffee dyed paper and this is um a altered playing card it says rain rain go away come again another day and i think that the jack looks quite perturbed by the rain <laughs> and then this was just a beautiful tree image from a magazine um and I just really thought it was like a really nice way to center the journal. And then up here we have a tab with a gold eyelet and a little Swarovski crystal bead. It's in like a champagne pink. And on this side we have a couple of things that are held on with a rusty paper clip. So this is tea dyed paper. And this is um, like a postcard style image from this box set of the wild swan the story of the wild swans and then this is a 1950s image of this lovely lady in her apron outside um i don't know her story but i really love her i do know that she's from the guelph ontario area because i purchased an estate auction of photography and it was all from the same estate some more of that vintage ledger imagery with a B. And then we have this beautiful burgundy lace pocket on tea dyed paper. And there is a collage tag that says Friday night's dream on the Saturday told is sure to come true, be it ever so old. And um, it has some nice feed sack fabric at the top. And clipped on here, we have another um, field guide image of these lovely buntings and juncos and towies. 
And this is more of that dandelion paper. And then we have a vintage glass button here with some um, handmade tatting on some tea dyed paper that has been jelly printed on this side. This is cabbage dyed paper and again more of the paper cameo. And this is jelly print on vintage music paper. Tea dyed paper with some ribbon and lace um, collage and a tab. And then this botanical paper. This is an origami, um, origami folding technique to make this heart. And it's a little pocket. There's a little tab here on cabbage dyed paper. And this is a journal card that says the magic. And over here, this is cabbage dyed leaf paper, and you can see some sea creatures here on that paper tab. More botanical paper with a vintage button and some lace. And um, this is an envelope, and it has this cute piece of ephemera inside of this mouse in this fa fabulous dress. I love her outfit, and she's doing a little bit of sweeping, and it's on tea dyed paper. And that just tucks right inside this envelope. And on the back of the envelope has this whole little like town of these little animals. And this is cabbage dyed paper with feed sack and lace in the tab. More blue paper. And then this is from a vintage um, plant magazine with a tab with some vintage buttons, fabric tab. And this is a Richard Scary book pocket on tea dyed paper. A couple pieces of vintage ephemera. So this first thing is um, about <laughs> this journalist, um, Senator, is it, is it John Lewis? Yes. So he had recently passed away. So this is a really old piece of newspaper. Um, I'm trying to see if I can find the date. I know it was the early 50s. So it's just a nice little piece of paper to do whatever you would like with. And then this is The Legend of Florida Sand Dollar. And it's a postcard. And then this just says forest and has this beautiful tree. And then there's this large lace pocket. It's really beautiful lace and it's on ledger. And this is a collage tag that says fairy godmother. And some cabbage dyed paper with this beautiful crochet flower at the top. More blue paper from the Winter Dreams kit from Release the Crafton. And then this is cabbage dyed paper. This is um, a rusty paper clip holding on to a couple things here. So this is vintage bridge score sheet. And then this is a 1950s um, image and it's really interesting. It looks like elephants were being transported somewhere, um, hopefully home to like a beautiful lush savanna somewhere. That would be my hope. <laughs> but yeah, it's a real photograph. Then um, last page, we have a couple things. So it's this beautiful seed packet um, paper. And then inside there is this large journal card from a children's book with this cute lamb and this little chick. And there is a, a real ginkgo leaf that's been stuck down and a little bit of fabric holding on the stem and this little butterfly on top. And then this little um, office style mini envelope pocket. And it has inside of it something, there it is, a $100 fake Monopoly money that I found as part of a handmade kind of Monopoly-esque game that was like probably handmade in like the 80s, I'm guessing, from some things that I found in the box. And then we have a little side fabric pocket with this lace and lots of stitching and um, more of that butterfly fabric. And then inside we have this large journal card that I made from a children's book. It says, late in the afternoon, branches full of light green needles, everything ended happily. And that is this good nature journal and um, it will be going probably up in the shop shortly. I'm making a bunch of these traveler's notebooks for a holiday market I'm participating in but I am planning to add some of them to my shop so the best way to see what I list and when I list it is by following me on Etsy. My Etsy shop is Studio Lou um, and yeah you will see some things pop up there shortly. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a lovely day. Bye for now. Bye.